Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 24th of September. The local media headlines today. The politics of winter fuel payments for pensioners might be generating more heat than light, but that won't stop a renewed coalition of Cornwall's Conservatives and Liberal Democrats uniting today in an attempt to put pressure on the government. A full meeting of Cornwall Council looks set to vote by a large majority in favour of a campaign to increase the uptake of pension credit. Cornwall's four Labour MPs in Liverpool for their party conference get to debate the issue tomorrow. That Lib Dem Conservative non-aggression pact isn't expected to last very long at County Hall, however with some very controversial issues coming to the boil in November. Why is it so difficult for the Council to show its workings when asked to justify ludicrous claims about the value of Newquay Airport. The BBC was among the media to catch up with Saturday's story about the question mark now hanging over proposals for a new maternity unit at the Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro. The government says the project is now subject to review, but if you're a Cornwall Reports reader, you've known that for four days already. Greatest Hits Radio reported how surfers against sewage are trying to keep up pressure on the government. The Falmouth Packet covered plans to demolish the Trengrouse Way nursing home in Helston. It's been empty for two years. The Cornish Times covered a sex offences case from Truro Crown Court. And finally, Cornwall Live had more news about some people on the telly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.